Hello everyone and welcome back to Gecho Crafts. I'm Sarah with uh, a couple of cocktail recipes for you today. Um, something a little bit different. Uh, we are at the start of another week of very hot weather here in Vermont. It's going to be over 90 degrees for most of the week and we don't have air conditioning. <laughs> so the way that I like to cool off is with a cold beverage. Um, you can make these cocktails as uh, alcoholic or non-alcoholic drinks. They're, they're both great uh, either way. And as usual, the full recipe will be on the website. Um, and these are two that I just kind of made up off the top of my head. I don't know if they're similar to any other known cocktails that are out there. So um, if they are similar to a recipe someone else has developed, I, I apologize. Um, but I, I don't really read cocktail recipes. I don't go looking for them. I just kind of mix up whatever I happen to have on hand. And um, the ones that I like, I keep making. Um, so the first one I developed sometime last year on a whim. Um, it's made with a blood orange soda. Um, an Italian style soda and I can get this in my local market I've noticed that the the brand has expanded um, so it's it's pretty well available um, and it's just blood orange soda and then a squeeze of lime juice and that takes it from slightly sweet to a bit more tangy um, and then you can of course mix in you know vodka or gin whatever your preferred alcohol is if you want to uh, make it a little bit more adult. Um, serve this over ice, of course, and it's delicious and refreshing, and it takes about 30 seconds to make. Um, so it's a great one if you're in a hurry. Um, the second one is a little bit more fiddly. Um, I'm not really into making super fancy cocktails. I haven't gotten into making shrubs and syrups and all those, those great things yet. Um, but this one does have some whole fruit in it. So what I like to do is get those little cans of sliced pineapple that you can find at the regular grocery store and I put them in the refrigerator. Um, they're great for a snack on a, on a hot day too. Um, but then I, I thought, oh, I could put this in a drink. So what I do is I take um, one of those chilled slices of pineapple and I cut it into four or six pieces and I thread those onto a toothpick. Um, that's kind of my garnish. And then in my glass, I mix peach soda, um, a splash of pineapple juice, another squeeze of lime juice, and some ice. And then again, I usually go for gin um, in these drinks. Uh, I prefer that to vodka, it has more flavor. And I happen to have a couple of really nice Vermont distilled gins in my liquor cabinet, usually. Um, so I, I mix that all up and serve it over ice and then try to sort of position the pineapple skewer on top if you can. It's pretty heavy and so that garnish will tend to sink, um, but that's okay, you can kind of eat it at the end as a little treat. Those are the two cocktails that I, I usually make when it's hot out. Um, give them a try. I hope you enjoy them. And if you have any tips, um, like favorite cocktail recipes you like to make for hot weather, uh, let us know. Leave a comment at the uh, in the comment field under this video. Um, thanks so much for watching and keep tuning in for more recipes and tips and uh, ways to stay cool on a hot day.